Uh, hola everyone. It's Rick. I'm going to welcome everyone to the channel. I'm going to create a landscape using and sketching with this palette knife. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, I'd love to have you aboard. <laughs> That's my co-host, uh, Adam, there. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I'm going to do a sketch today with the palette knife. Good to see y'all. Uh, it's Friday evening. It's my palette knife. It's kind of got some paint on there. Uh... Let me shut the bubbles off. Line this up a little better. I'm here to give you encouragement. Okay, I'm trying to get you to uh, a little guidance and sketching here. This is all coming from my mind, so I'm going to try and give you some tips on when you're doing this. You don't have to be a good sketcher. This knife is going to help bring out a lot of things, okay? So, basically, all you got to do is mix uh, Mars Black and uh, Burnt Umber. Burnt Umber, this is acrylic. I happen to be using Utrecht acrylic paint this I love this paint for landscapes okay so I just mix those two together and I got this nice rich color and uh, we're gonna sketch with this color now with the knife and we're gonna do it from the mind okay because everybody knows what a mountain looks like right I'm gonna show you some tricks when you're sketching, you have to think like in 3D, okay? And then, then it, you'll, you'll see things in a different way. Let's just do a simple sketch today. Uh, right in the middle here. Let's, uh, let's put a mountain peak up here with your knife. Just kind of make a big triangle up there, okay? Maybe it's a... Maybe we'll put the horizon like halfway across the painting okay put a big triangle up there and then we'll put uh, another mountain over here on the side and maybe a smaller one over here okay just like that real easy now with, with your blade come up here on the top and Let's just shade this one side of it here with your knife. Hold it flat and then just pull some of the color to the right on uh, every peak. Just pull it to the right like this. And what it's going to do, it's going to start creating some terrain down there. You see that? Yeah, you can see that. So, because we're going to paint over all this. We're going to paint over all this color. So, this, this is just to help you design the painting and all this down here. What I want to do today, I want to put a river in here. Not a, a big, long river, but uh, just a, a short part of the river. Uh... I'll show you here in a second. But now once you get this in, uh, let's put a, a, a hill over here uh, coming from a little bit above this peak here. We'll start a hill over here. Bring it down and into the center of the painting. And pull this hill back like this. Just pull it back to color. Right. 
there we'll have like a hill over here and let's put a small another hill over here but not so steep just bring it right down uh, We'll bring it in front of, uh, now we're going to make our river now. Right about here. I didn't want the river to be too long. So take your knife and let's make a, the edge of a river here. And bring it out to the side here. the edge of the river this will be the water in here and let's do the other side of the river now so basically this is the groundwork here this is all ground in here I'll show you here in a second Basically, the river is just going to come down right through the middle there, okay? Easy river, just boom. And we're going to try and make all this back here look far away. Uh, we'll make these mountains look like they're way off into the distance. I'll show you how to do that. So basically, we got, we got three peaks. We got a hill coming here, hill coming here, and we got... A river winding down to the front I'm not going to put the trees in because if you've seen my videos before I usually put the trees will surround the painting with some tall trees going into the sky okay with some cool clouds there we go what we need now is a couple more hills uh, underneath these mountains so take your knife and just kind of pull a hill down like this and let's put one uh, coming from the other way coming this way these will end up being maybe cliffs back there see just pull them down and we can make uh, we can make those clips, okay? There we go. I did. Here's. I, I wanted to show you could to look in uh, to make it 3D. You could pull uh, some of this down here and make some of the the edge of the uh, land look like it's dropping down into the water by pulling we'll just do it here in the front we'll make uh, a drop off that's what I mean so like the river cut out this land here uh, on the bottom just like that This will be the water now down here. And the land, the land's going to be up here. Okay. Just like that. So when we put our blue water in, we can leave this dark on the painting. <laughs> Look at that sketch. I'm actually going to take a picture of it because I like it and because uh, I might use it down the road for a classwork, okay, for uh, more instruction. And this is what you can do as well if you got an iPhone. You could take a picture of this and th then you'll have it on your phone and uh, if you want to paint the scene just 
you can actually just sketch this on if you want with a charcoal pencil. All right, here we go. We're going to start painting now. Let me check the, uh, make sure everything's functioning right here. We got, that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to try, I'll try and zoom into the, uh, camp, the mountains when I, uh, do the, the mountains. Hey, Peggy, how you doing? I didn't think anybody be on. It's Friday night. I thought everybody be out partying, you know. <laughs> so I went and bought some more Utrecht paint. This is my favorite paint for uh, landscapes. It really is. I'm going to use just three colors. Uh, blue, ultramarine blue. not true because I already have some sap green with uh, burnt umber in it to make my trees so I'm gonna have some blue here a little blue here for the sky yellow I don't know if you can hear the rain out there in Seattle. It's coming down. We have one of those, uh, they call it the river in the sky right now. It's just supposed to be heavy rains for days and days and days. Uh, Alzerian Crimson. So here's my three primary colors here red yellow and blue okay but like I said I already used sap green and burnt umber there I mixed it together and of course titanium white And I'm going to mix, I'm going to show you how I mix things, so. I'm going to put a little violet in the uh, ultramarine blue. I put a little violet there next to it. And I'm going to grab some of this blue and violet and mix it. Because Peggy wants some purple. This is all the purple you're going to get right there, Peggy. Uh, mixed in the blue. <laughs> I'm going to have a light blue sky. Really light. Because I want to make the clouds with the dark blue when I'm done. Put dark streaks in there when, I'm all, when it's all said and done. Or maybe I'll do it right now while I'm doing the sky. This is going to be easy because it's mostly all mountains. Okay? It's not going to be a hard painting. I'm trying to talk loud because I had someone uh, say they couldn't hear me. So, so I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to put the river in now to show you that this is going to be a cliff right here. So let's just put the blue in, the water, and you can leave the burnt umber sketch in there, okay? Leave it in there right now. Just come up next to the, the burnt umber. And it's a little wet, so you got to be careful. If you get a little bit of color in there, that's all right. I want to get the, the river put in so you can see it.
I'm putting the paint on pretty heavy because it's a small river. You don't really need to wet your brush. Alright, there we go. All right, there's the river. Let's do the sky now. I'm gonna put a little white back there once it, it dries just a little. I'm gonna put my blue up in the middle here. Nice blue sky. I'm going to grab some of this blue right out of the tube now and darken it up a little. Put it up in this corner. little darker blue maybe I'll have it transition from dark to light coming down like at an angle grab a little titanium white now and add it into the bottom of this blue and start bringing it down to the mountains titanium white I'm hoping the that's now it's still wet so my mountains are still a little wet that's all right try not to hit them I'm going to put some big trees in this one today. I'm going to put trees all on both sides to fill up all the sky, okay? Since the painting is going to be really simple. This is a really simple painting. We, uh, we just have mountain work pretty much. Uh, I might be able to put a little grass down here around the water. <clears throat> All right, so for my mountains, I'm going to take a little black here. Uh, the rest of my white and make a gray. A little more black. I want it pretty dark. I'm going to put a little blue in it. A little bit of this blue for the mountains. It probably makes it, turns it into like a, a light Payne's gray when you add that blue into it. I'm thinking. I haven't looked it up yet what a Payne's gray is. I know the Payne's gray, you can get Payne's gray with the, uh, has touch of uh, blue in it or a touch of green I think I can't remember all right so we'll put these mountains in with light gray Like that. Now, I guess I'm going to use some of the blue from the sky and put down in here, okay? I'm going to rinse my brush off. 
because I got enough gray up there. I'm going to grab some of this blue and mix it into the bottom of my mountains and put blue down here instead of white. Normally I'll put white down here, but I'm going to put the light blue. It'll still look like mist. But I kind of like the blue better. I'm trying to stay away from the white. And just use it for clouds and uh, highlighting. Alright, there's our terrain. When I do the mountains, I'll add more hills in there. <clears throat> this hill here... I want to keep it, let me think about this, uh, I want to keep it light because I'm going to have some trees over here, trees over here. Let's make this, uh, we're going to make it a light green, okay? So what I'm going to do, I told you I got a mixture of sap green here with uh, burnt umber. Let's take a little of that here, and let's add a little yellow to it, and see what kind of green we get. Looks pretty cool. I'm kind of mixing that gray in there with it. That'll work. All right, let's use that green for this hill here. Just block the whole map hill in with that green. Just like that. I thought I thought I was going to have some cliffs here, maybe. I'm going to put the green over here too, on this side. Some rolling hills. And then down here, let's just uh, darken it up a little with some, wrap some of that dark sap green. Mix it in there. Let's put a little blue. We'll get a definitely get a darker green than what's up there. A little more blue. And we'll put a dark green down here. I'm going to leave the black now. This black is going to end up being like a drop off. You see that now? Blend those two greens together.
Let me do the other side with the same color here. Try to get all this underpaint done, and then I'll, I'll move on to the trees because uh, I can't wait to get to the highlighting. I like highlighting the trees. There we go. There's our uh, the underpaint. It looks pretty good. Just gonna take a little of that burnt umber that I designed this with and add it in down here. going to be part of the uh, cliff wall here. All right. Look at that. I really like that. I got to put a little more white down. I said I was trying to use less white, and I used up all the white already. Uh, I'm going to try lightening while this is still wet. I'm going to lighten up this hill here. Lighten up uh, these hills back here. Put a few shapes in them. Kind of standing in a funny position here. Do, do, do. All right, I'm going to do my trees now. I've got the big fan brush. The huge fan brush. Let me do the small trees first. Uh, 
So I'm going to use the sap green. Sap green with the uh, burnt umber in it. Let's put some trees back here. Right in the middle. Look at that design. Doesn't that look like a, like a spread? It could be like a bird or a bumblebee or something in there. Doesn't that design look cool? The trees uh, centered here going off to the sides. Look at that. That's amazing. I really like that. It's going to put a few trees up here. Because I know I'm going to have big trees over here. And I don't want to mess up my uh, bird in there. I don't know if you see what I'm seeing, but I kind of like that. Now I'm going to have, uh, of course, I'm going to have more shrubs down here around the river. Man, that rain is really coming down. I'm putting in as many uh, trees as I want here distant trees look at that I, I like that design in the middle it's some kind of insignia or something you know let me get the big fan brush now let me see if I got another one Try a couple different types. I don't want it to be wet with water, so I'm just going to use paint on this fan brush. Because I think when you wet it too much, then the bristles get messed up. So I'm going to start with a big tree over here, believe it or not. My brush is a little crooked, so I'm working with a crooked brush. Big tree right there. Let's design some leaves on there. Press into the painting. that I really like 
like that already. I might have room for one right behind it here. Yeah, that rain is coming down. I bet, uh, man, there's going to be people calling me tonight because they're going to be flooding in their basements. Let me see how this is looking for you. Is it in focus? It's not even focused. I look like it's in focus to you guys. I think it's in focus now. Thanks everybody for the nice comments. The last, uh, every time I do a tree like this, somebody mentions Bob Ross, but the last three videos I did, I didn't do any of those trees. <laughs> so, I did a different type of tree. It was uh, more, more, uh, it was big and round. It was, uh, I can't remember what they called those trees. I got to bring these to the, they're going to be in the foreground here, so I'm going to have to kind of cover part of the river here, because this tree is kind of huge, so what I'll have to do is put a little land here, like this, and then, but I'll get to do some, highlight some bushes here. Which will be cool. I want to show you this cool way to highlight, okay? I'm going to try a different fan brush. That one seems a little loose. And I think I just bought that one not too long ago at Dick Blick's. Uh, let's put another big one in here. I'm going to put it close to the edge so I can fill in the side here. Oh, this one's not working. It's going to be a different tree. have to work with the brushes. This brush is not working at all. Let me get the other one back. Alright, we'll put another one small one right here at an angle kind of it's not really what I wanted but I'm gonna have to make it work I 
I saved the the thing in the middle though. That that's what counts. I like that design in the middle. Let me highlight this tree so uh, it looks cool. I'm gonna mix a little white in that sap green and burnt umber to get a lighter green. And we're gonna highlight just the right side of this tree. By just touching the top parts of the branches. Maybe a little bit over here on the edge. Very good. You gotta watch my, uh, I put an actual video up. Uh, yeah, a real video, it's not a live. So I just put it up, I think about an hour ago. I, I painted over uh, an old painting. bushes down there I'll try a little yellow in there get a little different color highlight color Got my phone in my pocket. I keep getting buzzed. I keep getting buzzed. Let me put a bush here, right on the side here. And I'm going to put a bush right here. I want to look at my phone and see how much rain we're getting so far, but you could probably hear it out there really coming down. Alright, so there, I just highlighted each side of the tree. Uh, doesn't that look cool? I want to show you something else, too. Hold on. Don't turn off yet. 
Let me zoom into that. It's a little greener than I thought. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring the camera by the window. Let me open the window some more. You'll probably hear it. Look at those green trees. You know what I was... I didn't want it to be so green. I wanted it to look more like brown. Uh... I do. I like that clump of trees in the middle, though. Doesn't that look awesome? It looks like some kind of, uh, like, a, it does look like a bird flying through there. Wow. I really like that now. I'm I'm starting to dig this. Uh, what I want to show you is I'm going to put a little more highlights on the. Uh, On the trees it's it's a tip that I think you'll remember for a long time and uh, it'll help you with your paintings in the future for sure let me put these uh, clips in real quick for these drop-offs Just using gray, gray color. All right. All right, let's uh, grab your a small fan brush. This is a number two. If you have trees in your paintings like this and you've just highlighted them like this, Make sure you clean your uh, fan brush off and then fill it up with titanium white. Well, I'm going to actually fill up the brush for you. So grab some titanium white and then fill up your uh, brush. It doesn't have to be wet. Now, I must say the light's coming from the right, which it is, right? So let's let's just hit. Uh, let's say the light's coming down more right in here, okay? So at the top of your bushes, on the round parts, just on the round parts, touch a little bit of white. On each round part there just a little not much you don't want to do all the bushes and then maybe just right down the side of this tree take a little bit of white on some of the branches going up just like that much you see how this side looks lit up now? Now let's light up this tree from here to here. A little bit of white on the top of each branch, okay? Just a little. Just barely touch it. That's all you need. 
Maybe it's hitting just a little higher here. See how it looks like it lit up just here, here, and right in here? And that's all you want to do. You don't want to do you don't want to do the whole painting, okay? <laughs> just a little bit. You can actually see I hit I hit these a little too hard here. You just want to barely touch it. So hopefully that soaks in and I'll try and get it to dull down a little bit. You just need to barely touch it with titanium white. Yeah, it looks good. I kind of touched it uh, too hard on that one, but I think we need a little more light here. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to uh, the water underneath our uh, land here. I'll just use a brush today. Put a little white water in the river. You just need a little back here. There we go. A different look you don't know, if I, I used a knife a lot sometimes it's okay to just use a brush down there to make it look different this is looking good I thought I was gonna cover a lot of this up so I never lightened up my green here so that's why it looks all the, the same you know I wish I had, there was a different tone in here but uh, it still looks good. It looks like really green. It looks like we need the moon, a moon up here or something. I wonder if I uh, should try and, uh, let me try a little bit right here, a little bit of yellow. I can never get the right amount on my brush, but. You can see you don't need much. It changes uh, it changes the lighting quite a bit. I want it to look like the sun is hitting down in here. It's subtle though. I want it to look subtle.
Look what a little bit of yellow does. Really change that whole side over there. <clears throat> All right, it looks like we're, I'm done with this down here. That looks pretty good. I want to highlight this these trees, but I don't want to ruin them. I like the way these look. Uh, I can see a few clumps over here. I'm just going to let it be. Because I see a little bit of highlights in there already. I like the way that looks. Let me see where I'm at. Almost at an hour. This one went pretty quick. Uh, let me see if I could do... Uh, oh, I still got these clips to fix here. I got my phone in the pocket and it keeps buzzing for some reason. Feels like it's buzzing. Has that ever happened to you? All right, I gotta, I think I'm done. Should I do some clouds or what? I, I'm thinking about leaving the mountains like that gray. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, to put some ducks down here. <laughs> what do you mean you're not an artist? You need to go buy some paint. That's what I'm trying to do. You can do it. I'm making this easy so anybody can do it. I think I'm going to put... A little bit of snow up here I have to because I've got no terrain down here so I'm gonna try and do it a little different than I usually do and just hit it with some white very lightly Just to get something going on up there. Doesn't have to be much. And then run some hills coming down. like that a little bit of uh, color showing that the lights coming in from here it's very simple I like that I like that a lot all right now we just got to decide on the clouds uh, what kind of clouds to put up here. If I start doing the clouds, it could take a while, so I might do the clouds uh, later on. 
I got to put a little bit of uh, sparkle down here on this water. It just looks better when it has this knife work. There we go. I just like the way it looks like it's uh, flowing down the river now. I actually don't even know where the river's coming from. Look at that. I never put a river going in there. I don't want to put it here because I don't want to ruin this. Whoops. Maybe I can bring it from the side. Yeah. The river is going to have to come from over here. Just like that. I'm going to put a few, uh, try and put a few tree trunks in. With the with the knife, see what it does. It's not it's not light enough. I kind of like it. I guess I'm going to mess around with some clouds. Just, uh, just to see what's going on here. Just going to brush them in. Got to have some kind of clouds up here. And I think it'll be finished. I guess I will put a, I could put a bird up there. Should not have put a duck. I used to see these mallard ducks all the time uh, down by the locks.
Do you guys know what locks are? The locks. It's where the boats have to go in this lock because the water is higher on the, the freshwater side is higher than the, uh, the salt water side. So they have to go through these locks and the water raises the boat up while they're in there. It's pretty cool. And there's a lot of, uh, seals and, uh, ducks and birds, eagles, heron, all these different types of critters, otters, pretty cool place. Maybe I'll go down there this weekend. I'm actually off tomorrow. I'll take some video of the locks. It's pretty cool. You can see what they are. If you're someone that doesn't live near water, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. And uh, if you've never been to Seattle, you might you might get something out of it. pretty fun to go down there there was this I went down there like four years ago I don't know if you know there's some billionaire in Mexico he's the richest man in Mexico and he brought his yacht through there his yacht was so huge it, man, it almost took up uh, the whole lock itself. It was so big, his yacht. It was one of the largest yachts in the world. I forget what his name was. It starts with an M. Uh, he's a, the richest man in Mexico. It's either Mendoza or Mendenez or something like that. I can't remember. I know it starts with an M. I remember seeing a big M on his yacht. All right, there you go, guys. I'm done for the day. I kind of like that one. It looks pretty good. It's kind of green. But it was, some, it was fun. I think somebody will buy it. I like the uh, the trees there in the middle, that clump of trees there. <laughs> Peggy likes my word, clump. No, these are, that's snow. That's snow on the mountains. Those aren't clouds. The... Uh, it's a good idea, though. Sometimes I'll run clouds below there. Oh, you're from Australia. Okay. Now I, you might have locks over there in Australia. I could put a kangaroo in there. That, uh, <laughs> I see a lot of videos of how those kangaroos are... Kind of, they're kind of tough. They're tough critters, man. They like the box. They like to fight people. Yeah, this was fun. This was fun. Uh, I'm just trying to show you how easy it is to uh, get started. Even if you're a non-artist, I think you can do this. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, go to my channel. You can see the, I made a video earlier today. I covered up an old painting. I just painted over an old painting. What do you have, kangaroos in your front yard? Is that what you're saying?
All right. Let me put a few.